Hey everybody, it's January 2nd, 2021, week 109 of our keto journey. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> 332.6 last week, and this morning, 332.6. So if anything, I'm consistent. Yeah, even Steven. <laughs> well, this year, I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably hit YouTube a little bit, and even our own videos, and review some recipes that are out there and try and get some new things into our uh, evening. Repertoire. Yeah, into our repertoire. <laughs> uh, I've been pretty much kind of just stuck in my eggs and chicken rut and nothing's really changing. I even upped my carb manager macros and calories a little bit because I was at a 40% deficit before and uh, I upped it to where I'm at a 25% deficit yeah. thinking maybe I was starving myself too much and that the body just needed a little more fuel. Yeah. Uh, it didn't seem to fail me in terms of a weight gain, but I'm still kind of stagnant and I'd like to change that especially for 2021, right? Absolutely. I think too, <laughs> because you've always been, he's always been such a basic eater. He I am. eats the same things all the time. And that's before keto too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the grocery list never changes. <laughs> it's just, did you buy it this week? <laughs> that's all. Did so, I find it? <laughs> yeah. Did you find it? It's okay if you get the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it's always the same for me. So, well, how yeah. you doing there, Stace? It's my Not too bad though. Last week I weighed in at 137.6 and today I'm at 138. Um, still super bloated. Um, yeah, I noticed you were having trouble with your rings the other day. Yes, it's it's so heck? strange. Yeah, it just it affects me and well, your fluids. I guess I mean there's a lot going on there. I'm not gonna say that I understand it all, but you know. <laughs> I hope it is don't. what it is. I just keep to myself. Hey, Cobra Kai is on Netflix, so start watching that. We are four episodes into season three and loving it. Yes. I like that show. It's it's even when it was on YouTube before Netflix and everything, I was really enjoying it. It's just a blast from the past for an old guy like me <laughs> to see all those old karate kid people and all the other, you know, storylines develop into today's world. Yes. I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, we, we, we had to catch ourselves to not binge watch it. And stay up all night oh, or something. Yes. Yeah. I did, however, stay up all night. I stayed up past midnight and didn't even fall asleep. I'm pretty yeah. proud of that. <laughs> that was really good for you for New Year's, yeah. Uh, we so. watched a movie. I don't, re I don't remember the movie we watched. I don't remember the name of it. Oh, okay. Do yeah. you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't feel so bad then. No, no. I can't remember. I have no idea. Yeah. It something, wasn't a bad something movie. Something off Netflix. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't obviously our favorite. It wasn't memorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was uh, just Bill and I um, hanging out until midnight, yeah. past midnight. And then I had yesterday off with them. So we got some basement projects done. And, uh, yeah, we worked on the dishwasher. dishwasher. Last week we worked on the dryer. This week we worked <laughs> on the dishwasher. Yeah, we had a little bit of a snafu with the way it was sitting in there and the screws and the mountings were all cracking and we had to replace some flooring and yeah a lot of work they had to hours. replace the battery in my car yeah the battery was <laughs> it's a new year just, new problems right just old <laughs> yep it is but it's been it's been a good year um overall we've spent a lot of time together we actually it's good, yeah it's gonna be a good year this year too we went on a vacation and yeah, well, planned Smoky another Mountains. one this year. Yeah, Smoky Mountains. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely beautiful. I Yeah, it didn't even really go anywhere. We stayed in the resort and we just enjoyed the heck out of just being out. Yeah, you know? I walked around, took lots of pictures. Actually, we took a drive and took uh, fantastic pictures. I'm so happy. And we're yeah. going up north in Michigan to yeah. uh, some prettier areas. We're going to be up by Petoskey and Boyne Mountain and stuff later in the year. So, um, yeah, just enjoying a little bit of time up there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be fun. It's a good year. Um, it's going to start off great. It already has. Yep. We are here together versus last year. Bill was in the hospital. Yeah. Sicker so, than sick, sick, sick. Yeah. Gosh, so, how many days was I there? Like nine, 10? Well, I think it was, it was almost two 10. Stays. Yeah. Two stays. But the, in between it was only like seven hours. Yeah. I only um, came home for an afternoon and I was right back. Yeah. So we're thankful this year we're starting off here at home and together yep. and uh it's going to be a better year it really it is for everybody yes yeah and i and I, like i said earlier um i want to get out there and kind of get some ideas of 
maybe change the grocery list a little. I don't know, a little bit of different keto stuff or something. Just something different. Change yes. up the year for fun. And see if we can't get this uh, weight to start moving. Now, the one thing I can be happy of, uh, you know, like I said, we'll share every Saturday where we're at, good, bad, or otherwise, and it's real life, is um, that I haven't really gone up. So, you know, I've, I've dropped a good 50, 60 pounds yeah. doing the keto. And the, it, gosh, amazing for the medicines that I'm not on now. Yeah. Uh, very thankful for all that. But I'd like to see some more weight loss in 2021. Yeah. I think I do too. I probably... Uh, Just a little good, for you, but... Yeah, you know, not, a, not a ton for me. I'm, yeah, pretty much there. Yeah. It's like the magic wand. Ta-da! <laughs> no. No, They're doing, doing a... Um, the biggest loser weight loss challenge at work. No. It's a It's a $10 buy-in. And I don't know how long they're doing it for, um, maybe 30 days or so. Yeah. And um, the biggest loser wins the pot from the entry fee. Wow. So I was like, why couldn't you do that when we started? When I start doing keto because sure, I lost all my butt. weight literally. Yeah, you lost like 50, 60 pounds really quickly. Yeah. Within that first couple, yeah. three months, four months or so. Yeah, I think yeah. like four or five months. Now, to, um, be, to be fair, for you, it's more of a maintaining thing right now. You right. you can't lose a whole lot more. I still have extra that I could lose. So I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm trying. It, it, it's all about, you know, I'm, I'm certainly feeling much healthier. Um, yeah, I'm loving great. being able to shop regular clothes. Yeah, you used to buy extra large and one extra large, and now you're buying mediums. Yeah. You know, now it used to be a five or a six X and now I'm buying like three X. Yes. So I'm getting there. Eventually I'll be like in the two X, hopefully. I'm actually going to go through, I'm saying this on, on camera now, so I have to actually do it. <laughs> I'll rewind it and save it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go through and I'm, I'm going to get rid of some of those bigger clothes. I a few times she's put them on and she just looks like a homeless person because she just <laughs> drapes on her body. It's like. <laughs> You can't wear that, babe. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I had a beautiful sweater for so long, I couldn't wait to wear it. Mm -hmm. And I put it on, and I was like... Yeah, when fall came, she put that sweater on. I'm like, no, that's not going to work. I'm like, well, maybe. Peel's like, no, don't, no. don't, don't. And you used it. to have the bigger sizes, too, because you had a larger chest, too. So you would always, you know... Right. You need that. You needed the, like the extra large. I always thought you needed the extra large or the 1X. And now you put a medium on, and you look great. Aww. So, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. It's been nice, though, to, to shop in the regular racks. And now I'm at Costco wearing... You catch a deal. I a am. Medium. I've actually... My little $5 shirt here. <laughs> um, my Tommy Hilfiger. But it was a medium. Actually, I think this one is a small. They run a little bit big. Hmm. Um, but we always have the smaller sizes. A ton of them left. In... So Tasty's going to do a Costco clothing haul. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I bought. <laughs> It's it's so crazy though. I mean, and your socks and your underwear are always on like clearance or something. She brings home like three packs of underwear and they're like three dollars each. I'm like, <laughs> that was good job. Pack yeah, three four dollars. packs. <laughs> three, four packs for like three bucks. But it's because they were smaller. So yeah. um, definitely that's been a nice advantage. As much as I hate clothes shopping, it's much easier to do now. Um, yeah. We still hit the thrift stores. Um, Salvation Army is probably. Still my favorite. For jeans. For jeans. You, she lucks out on jeans, let me tell you. She'll go in there and try three or four pairs. Well, now with things going on with the world, you can't even try things on in the store. Right. You have to buy them, and if they don't work, you can bring them back and get credit for the store. Right. But and ladies, you know out. me. with Just in jeans, you know how it is. Jeans fit so differently from brand to brand to That's brand. That's very true. And the last time we went, I think of you course, we three pair? Uh, no, I bought a uh, five pair. <laughs> Five pair. But they were, I think I spent like 20 bucks for five pairs. Yeah, of jeans. like 18 bucks on the pants. And um, I was like, well, if they don't fit, it's not a big deal. Julia, our 12 year old, is as tall as me now. And um, right there, sometimes I'm looking at her clothes and looking at my clothes going, mm. Who's her? I can't even determine <laughs> anymore. We have to wash them separately because mm -hmm. otherwise it's like, oh. I did that yesterday. I had her and, bring her laundry thing out and I. Put in a fresh load of just hers, just hers folded yeah. it and said, take your stuff out of here. Yeah, so the jeans that we bought, though, they all fit. Different brands, and they all fit. I was so flipping excited 
Yeah, they're happy for you too. Yeah. And it's okay if they didn't fit. You could have just done the flip flop swap. Right. Either you know, give them a Julia or, or went and got something different. Yeah. So. Yeah, but Salvation Army and the Goodwills shopping is always fun. Yeah. You never know what you're going to find. No, not old. at all. So keto has been fantastic for us since we yep. started in November of 2018. Uh, it's absolutely life changing, physically very much so for me. Mentally, I feel better. I don't feel like I'm like, oh God, I don't want to. I don't have as many of those. Oh, I don't want to wear this. I don't have anything mm. to wear. Um, and you look nice too. So aww. she walks out, and I'm like, hey, you look really good. And she's but like, hey. medically for Bill. Yeah. Uh, getting off of all those medicines and yep, especially the insulin that he was doing twice oh, a day and ramping needles. it up in the needles and hated it. I felt bad because I don't like needles either, but to hmm. see him have to do the needle every day, he's like. And it wasn't that big a deal. It's just I didn't want to do it. That's all. Right. And then I felt like when I was doing insulin that I was gaining weight. Yes. Was that why I couldn't control that? And right. When as soon as I started the keto and I was able to eliminate the insulin, I was feeling so much better. Right off the bat, I was feeling better, like within mm -hmm. like three weeks. Yes. And the doctor didn't believe it, and my endocrinologist didn't believe it, and I made believers out of both of them. We went to the doctors a little bit more often, I believe, at the beginning because they're like, well, "Let to, me yeah. test you. Let me come in. Let me see." Yeah, me. I even got a different meter. Because yeah. they're, they're like, well, we need to know because you're that's not right. You know, I was in the 300s plus. Yeah. And then I dropped to like 140s. And they're like, what the heck? Yeah. So it's we been did fantastic. It. There's like a whole mind, body, spirit connection there. <laughs> I'm working on it. Too much Cobra Kai. I'm yeah. trying to, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm, I'm working hard on trying to get more rest. And I know there's other things besides just the food and right. just. There's just, you know, there's a mental aspect. There's a spiritual aspect, for me at least. Yes. Um, there's there's all kinds of things, and sleep is a big part of it. Okay, and, and now my pill keeper is not full of a bunch of junk from the doctors, but it's full of things that I choose to take, like apple right. cider vinegar yes. or cinnamon or things that I think are more of a natural approach to helping my sugar. I had a 127 sugar last week. One of my, one of my days was 127. Now, obviously, that's still high. I'm still diabetic. But for me, that's freaking fantastic. I'm so excited. Good use of words. I was, I, I heard the. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping fantastic. <laughs> no, so, you know, I'm very happy with that. And I, and I hope that if um, we might even have a couple of new people here, if they're still hanging out after 10 minutes or whatever, <laughs> um, that are just checking in and maybe starting keto for a new thing for them for the new year. And that's cool. Um, maybe check out some of our old recipes and our keto journey in general. Yeah. Um, I feel a little stagnant on the weight part. However, I do feel so much better health-wise. And uh, I, I'm very fortunate that I have not gone up. I just got to figure out what my body's doing and kind of get it back into um, going back downhill. Yeah. And that's what I want. And that's why I figured we'd share this stuff, you know. Um, it's real life. It is. I yeah, I don't have anything that's miraculous and Instagram famous kind of like look at this picture and look at this picture. But I'm but I'm doing good. I know. Hmm. So I saw, I don't know, it was on TikTok or something, a fried pickle. I was uh -huh. actually kind of disappointed. They did it in a um, the Dash Mini and they just did like a cheddar cheese and... A, a dill pickle a slice of a pickle huh? it didn't come out very well so if you have a fried pickle <laughs> recipe yeah cheese in a pickle <laughs> stick it in a panini <laughs> stick it in a panini maker and just close it we got that griddler the yeah. Cuisinart griddler that thing is awesome yeah but yeah. no it's I don't anyway know. fried pickle would be good fried if you pickle. Have, yeah um, if you know how to make a fried pickle Never, I, I had one way back when, and when I saw it, it just has made my taste buds go, ooh, 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 that sounds good. But ooh, it wasn't very good when I made it. The cheese was overcooked. No, I commend you because you're just looking for some different things and some fun things, and that, that would be a little treat for you. Oh, we did a pork loin. Pork loin is awesome. Oh, I got Another a Costco find. Yeah, I got a great deal at Costco. I think I paid eight bucks for like this. It was like at least four pounds. It was huge. Yeah, not cut. So Bill cut it into, into three thirds. for us. 
And um, we made a pork loin when our oldest came home. She did come home for Christmas. Yay. I was yeah. very happy. That was like a crusted Parmesan, right? No, that oh, that was a different one because oh, yeah. we had We've the pork, had pork loin and that was really good. And then we did the Parmesan crusted chicken, which is um, our oldest's favorite. Um, those went like that. And then yesterday, oh, yeah. my honey made me meatballs. meatballs. Keto meatballs. Holy goodness. Yeah, it has all the Parmesan, the eggs, the... Um, Almond flour, yeah, um, all of our seasonings, Three onion, different meats. garlic, salt, pepper, onion, garlic. Really, really kind of have perfected that recipe, I think, at this point. Yes. Um, I've added a little more egg. I thought that they were dry before, and they. I think that tonight's, yesterday's batch yeah. was probably the best batch of all the meatballs yeah. I've made. And I've liked the meatballs each time. Yeah. It's just that this particular one, you didn't even need sauce or anything. It was just... I'm excited for lunch today. We've been using the Rayos, <laughs> the Rayos marinara sauce. And, don't even uh, need it. Didn't Both of us yesterday were, wow, we don't even need like a sauce with this. This no. is so good. Although I do like to put melted cheese over my meatballs. Yep. Do a little bake thing and then like a little ramekin or something. Yes. Yeah. So we could do that tonight if you'd like. And watch yes. Cobra Kai. Yeah. We don't have good. anything that's broken at the moment that I need to fix. Yeah, we were up pretty late working on the dishwasher yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something, isn't it? It is. But we fixed it. We saved money. Didn't have to call anybody out. And yep. YouTube is our friend. Yeah, yeah. You look up your <laughs> washer. You learn how to fix it. Or the dryer. We, you know, look yeah. around online. I think I found it at an appliance repair place. But, but the part came from that, Amazon. Yeah. And yeah. $16 later, we were fixed. So It's nice and quiet and more efficient because we did a really good cleaning when we were in there. So life is good. So hey, Cleaning out our bodies. Let us know if you're new to keto in the comments um, what you're going to try, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. I would highly recommend using Carb Manager. There's a free version. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for me to track my foods every day. Stacy's kind of on board with Carb Manager and sometimes she isn't. Uh, I think she just kind of knows in her head what works. Like for yeah. her day. Again, she, I'm at kind of more of the maintaining. I could stand to use lose another, you know, five to eight pounds, but that's nothing, you know, that That's probably the hardest is the last it, 10, it is. you know. <laughs> and actually I probably now should just be exercising to get the Well, it's um, winter time too, so we don't toned. get as out on the bikes and as yeah. active as taking a walk after dinner or something. Right. So yeah, you know, we've we've got a little uh, bike and treadmill down there. We can maybe we could watch Cobra Kai and walk on the treadmill and ride the bike at the same time. That would be our like incentive to watch the next <laughs> one. So if you're gonna watch for thirty minutes, ride and Get walk. Get down and ride and walk. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna say, Hey, you wanna watch Cobra Kai? Okay, let's go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay, we could do that. Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Just whatever you got to do. But let us know in the comments below. And then uh, obviously we're going to be checking out some recipes too. Yes. And so. trust the process. Um, it may not seem like it's going to work, but. I, it's worked for us it's so work, far. It's a lifestyle change. It's not, you know, that everybody was like, oh, you're going to gain it back. And I'm okay. And here we are, you know, 109, eight know. weeks, 109 weeks into it. Yeah, nine. And like I said, for me, I've lost most of it within the first for four to five months and um it's just been maintaining for me and you know what's funny is the cabinets still have regular food because yeah. the kids still eat regular stuff i just have my own cabinets i yeah. have my own spaces in my own cabinets i have some higher up things because i'm a tall guy so you know <laughs> i know that cabinet up there has got my safe food yeah <laughs> i stay out of the you know the one with all the rices and all that kind and of I'll stuff. do those for Julia because I don't like and race and all yeah. that stuff anyway, so it's not a trigger for me. And anytime I make something, I always say, hey, you want to try a bite of this? You don't have to eat it. Just if you like it, cool. And if you don't, that's cool too. Still can't get her to try a meatball. However, I'm not sad oh about gosh. it because then it's more for I me. I don't want to have to share them anyway. <laughs> so I'm good with that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for staying with us. Um, if you're still watching... And if you watch us on a weekly basis, we do appreciate you all and hope you have a very prosperous new year. 2021 is going to be a great year. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let us know, like I said, we're going to be hitting some uh, other channels and just in general. Uh, we really liked 
Diet Doctor as well. If you're if you're new mm-hmm. here, Diet Doctor had some good recipes that we even kind of like mixed up a little bit on our own for our own taste. Yeah. Um, but used as a base. Um, of course, our fat heads. We love fat heads. We don't we don't get to them as often lately, just because we didn't lay out and make ten of them at a time. Yeah. But when we do, when we make them up and we freeze them, man, that's just like pulling out a frozen pizza. But you're getting a good pizza and yeah. a good for you pizza. Yep. So you know. There's little things like that that you can look back on some of our recipes and our other videos and get some ideas from if you're new here. And uh, like I said, I want to spark some new interest on just changing up things, uh, maybe adding in a new dinner or two here and there just for fun. It's been a while since we had tacos too, just basic tacos. Oh, yeah. Stacey makes her own taco mix, so we don't have as much stuff in the taco mix. And then uh, we can use a carb shell. Sometimes I'll just put the meat on a plate with some cheese on it and just eat it like that too. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, um, that's what we're going to be looking into. But thanks for hanging out with us, like we said. And we will be back next week and let you know where we're at next week as well. Sounds good. Have a great 2021, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.